Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how to draw this minimalistic wallpaper in Inkscape. So I've done a new image and gone for the HD 1080 size. And I've opened up the fill and stroke dialog box, which is Control, Shift and F. So select the circle tool. And I'll start on the bottom left hand side and just click and drag, but then hold down the Control key so you make a circle rather than an ellipse. And press Control C, Control Alt V, grab the mouse tool, click and drag, hold down the Control key so it drags on a 90 degree line rather than freehand. I think something like that might be okay. So then select them both, so hold down the Control Shift keys, then go up to Extensions, Generate from Path, Interpolate. So exponent of zero, interpolation steps of two, and method one. Apply and close. So that gives me an equal distance between all those circles. So now I'll click and drag and highlight them all. And control C, Control Alt V, single click, grab this 90 degree arrow then hold down the control key and drag it up to the 90 degree position. Now I want the snap tools enabled, I want snap nodes or handles and I want the snap from and to center of objects. I'm going to have to drag it on that circle and see if I can pick it up. Nope. Let's try snap to cusp nodes I think might do it. There we are. So that's now overlaid that circle. Right. Now to select that and that, again holding down Control Shift key, Control C, Control Alt V, drag that across to there. Right, select those two and do Control C, Control Alt V, drag that away. Now this is going to be a bit more tricky to get it aligned properly, so I'm going to need the Snap to Paths tool, and I think I'll have to ungroup these two. So, Object Ungroup. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. That's aligns those two properly. So, now select everything, go Object Ungroup, and I want to get rid of any that are doubles. So, that'd be that one, that one, that one. Not there, not there, and that one's double as well. That's all of them. So let's give it some colour. So I want to go for the fill, so I select fill, and I want that colour there 00D4EEFF. Stroke of black width 5, yeah, that'll do. So select all of those, Control C, Control Alt V, H, V. Now I can drag these up to the right, top right hand side. Something like that. Now let's get a background colour, so that's the create rectangle. Drag that across beyond the outsides of the template square. Not worried about a stroke on it, but want the fill colour of twenty 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 FF. Then select it and press end. Right, last thing I want to do. Let's highlight all these circles, then use the filters, shadows and glows, drop shadow, going for a blur radius of 20, opacity 70, horizontal and vertical offset and zero, apply. How's that look? Nice. Maybe it's a bit too dark. So highlight them all again. 
Turn that down to about 60. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Now we can export this to a PNG file. Let's go to export bitmap. And you can increase the pixels dots per inch as well if you want to make it like for a 4K display. So you could do something like 150 dots per inch. It could go even higher than that, I think, for a 4K, can't it? Um, it's like 250. You can make it absurdly big, whatever. I'm perfectly happy with 90 dots per inch. And then export. So that's how to create this minimal circles wallpaper in Inkscape. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.